YouTube. Y'all know what time it is. Time for this Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Tennessee Vols take on Indiana in about an hour and a half from Jacksonville, Florida. I sure think the weather there is a lot better than what the weather is here. It's freaking raining. Crap weather here. This weather sucks. But weather in Florida tonight is probably mid 70s and sunshine. See if Tennessee get after him. I fully expect Tennessee is going to handle their business tonight and beat Indiana. There's too many playmakers on both sides of the ball for Tennessee tonight. Defense has been locked in these past few weeks. Um, hopefully, it's a stronger test than what you know the last five games have been. But. We'll just have to see. Um, I'm sure we're going to struggle at quarterback tonight, but that's just something we struggle with all year is quarterback play. So we'll talk with y'all here in a little bit, give y'all some updates throughout this game. Miss it. Freaking miss it. Dang. Yes! Wait. No good! Oh, yes! Oh, holy crap. Wow. Come on, Jennings. Get this first down. Crap. Yeah! Oh, no. oh, a Give it to him and let him go for it on fourth down. He can make that. Run about it. They're, they're, lost, they're not. They're playing free thing. He's trying to engineer. Look. No, nothing. Dang no it. Five. Touchdown. Oh! He dropped it. Dang, he Nigel, come it. on. Yeah. Pick that ball. Jennifer Westbrook almost intercepted by Nigel Warrior down around the 20 yard line. Come on, get him. Get him. Yes! Ball game! Wow. <laughs> Victory. Another great stand by the Tennessee defense. And the Volunteers tip again, as they've done during this five-game winning streak, have found a way to... Yo, I, I'm at a loss for words. I really, I don't understand this team. Uh, I'm glad that they went down there to to Jacksonville and got a win. Uh, but I just, I don't get it. Just, I really hope that this is the last that we have to see of Jared Garantano. Um, I definitely can tell y'all one thing is that we saw the last of Brian Maurer in a ball jersey because there's no way that that boy's parents or him, like you don't come, that's just ridiculous that as bad as Garantano played in the game and they put Maurer in in the third quarter for one drive and then pull him and put Garantano back in. It's just, it's unacceptable. Um, I just hope, you know, Garantano brought him back, got the bowl win. I just hope it's over with him. Like I know, I know y'all, he's not gonna transfer. We're gonna be stuck with this crap again next year. And we're gonna be lucky to get to seven or eight wins next year. That's just that's how it's gonna go. Um, he's not gonna transfer, but he needs to be gone. Um, you know, I I've asked the question: Would you rather go eight and four with Garantano next year, or seven and five with Harrison Bailey? And I, I've been called stupid, ignorant, whatever. But I would I would take the seven and five. And here's why, y'all. We're talking about a a three year quarterback who consistently makes dumb decisions, uh, crap throws, and y'all, I can't waste too much time venting on, uh, going off on him, you know, because we got the win, but it's just, it's like, all you need to know about Jarrett Garantano is, uh, you could just watch one play the whole season and you would know, you would see what you need to know. Third down, cr most crucial, one of the most crucial plays you could see in the whole game. In the fourth quarter, we're down. We need we need a drive. And what does he do? He trips and falls over basically his own two feet. Um, so he had a good ball win, had a couple of good games this year, but it's it's got to be done, y'all. 
onto this game. Uh, I honestly, I have no idea how. I've watched a lot of Tennessee football games, and I guess you know Indiana's just a sorry football team, worse than us because you know they hadn't won a bowl game since 1991. Well, they still haven't won a bowl game since 1991. Haven't had a nine-win season. Still haven't had a nine-win season since 19. 67 so i guess that's your answer but i mean credit to the defense all night long making big time stops when they needed to um you know batuli's last game hit a big time game what can you say henry toto i can't wait to see the next few years watch him play you know he just he makes every single tackle he needs to make he makes it um daryl taylor getting pressure on the quarterback all night long you know, uh, just defense has played, and down the stretch, the defense has played good football when they needed to. They've got the stops. I'm proud of them. A big game by, a lot of big kicks by uh, Samaglia. Just, I guess, you know, down the stretch, we made the plays when we needed to. End out the year eight and five, which, you know, I've been critical all year, and, you know, this wasn't the, this wasn't, I'm gonna say it again. This was not a successful season. You'll never, you're never gonna tell me that this season was a success, just because you, you know, you won six games in a row and you beat, um, you won the ball game. You know, it's it's not a success. Um, that's just how I see it. But I guess the team can enjoy the win, the good bowl trip, but. We got, a, we got a lot of work to do. Um, we got a lot of work to do between now and next year. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this season. Uh, take a little bit of a break. Well, I mean, the Natty's next week, but just uh, hopefully bigger and better things in 2020. We can only hope. So... Thanks to all y'all who subscribe to the videos, watch the content. It's muchly appreciated. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. And we'll hit. We'll talk to y'all later. You know, it sucks. Football's over for Tennessee in this year, but long off season will begin now. But anyways, go Big Orange, baby. We'll talk to y'all later.